Hello everyone, welcome in my channel uh, ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to create connection string in your ASP.NET Core projects. So first of all, if you are using uh, SQLite, then you can uh, add the connection string in app settings.json file looking like this. Uh, connection string, uh, there is a connection string uh, uh, in the format of the JSON connection string and brackets uh, default connection is the name of the connection string so you can say uh, the first thing is the data source equals to app.tv so a tv file uh, added in into your projects okay just a simple do uh, this thing in asp.net core if you are using sqlite and how to inject that uh, connection string in your starter.cs file in the service uh, by using the services. So under the configure uh, services method, uh, you can add the SQLite looking like this services dot add DB context. The name of the context is application DB context that is existing in your data section application DB context and options use options dot use sqlite use sqlite is actually exist uh, in the microsoft dot entity framework core dot infrastructure dot sqlite db context option builder looking like this okay so uh, services dot add db context the name of the context options dot use sqlite configurations dot get connection string the name of the connection string is the default connection there is thing default connection that that is the thing if you are using a uh, sql server then you can add the sql server connection string in app settings.json file uh, uh, you can see that now you can add the server name here like this uh, server equals to the name of the server uh, like uh, local db ms sql local db and the database database equals to uh, getting started getting started uh, std db and uh, trusted connection Trusted connection is set to true, and the final is active uh, uh, result set. I mean to say that multiple active result sets, multiple active result sets equals to true. This thing you can do in your project and how to inject that uh, connection string in startup.cs file so you can use instead of uh, use sql lite you can use sql use sql server okay that thing use sql server is exist in you can check Had to be context options use sql server okay so uh, there is microsoft dot entity framework core dot sql server thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core thank you very much for watching